right, now before we get started, I thought we should actually go over quickly how these coil-on plug systems work and how having a harness that's got deteriorating connectors can cause you massive problems and it won't be your spark plugs or your actual ignition coils. This might potentially save you a lot of money. So for that, I'm gonna pass it over to Dr. Professor Crooked M in the laboratory. Thank you, idiot. Okay, it's my turn to explain and I think I'll do a slightly better job than the idiot in the garage. One second. There we go. Here I have a picture of the inside of the coil. You can see from right to left, they are numbered one, two, three, four, each pin corresponding to a different job. Pin number one, pin number two, pin number three, and pin number four. Now, here it is in diagram for a little bit better of an explanation. Now, this is a very oversimplified diagram, but bear with me. In here, you'll see in red is the power supply. This is power going directly from the main harness to each individual coil. The next wire you see is the brown wire. Now that is the harness ground. That is the ground going back to the harness for each individual coil, positive and negative. The next wire you see, which is the thin little black wire, that one is the important one. That is the ECU trigger. That is the ECU's command for each individual coil, and it tells each one when to fire, unlike a distributor, which has a little rotor and sends a constant signal to whichever one it's pointing to. This one is controlled directly by the computer. This is where you can have issues if you have intermittent contact problems, like we may experience with deteriorating harnesses, like the plugs literally falling apart. And then finally, the last one we have is the engine ground. These are all four connected to one big ground loop that's usually put through a bolt, and then that goes directly to the engine. This allows everything to function properly. And this is why the deteriorating plastic on our harness could be causing a lot of the issues we're having, not the coils and not the spark plugs. And I believe that many of you are having this exact problem. Back to the idiot in the garage. Okay, well, I guess I better get, done, get going with the job then. And the culprit we're looking for is right here. And now we've got a light, so now it's easier for you guys to see. There we go. So they may look pretty normal, at least these three, but you may see pieces there that don't belong. Well, most of us are probably rocking connectors that look like this. The issue with those is the first or second time that you change them, oh, it's no big deal. You know, the little clip that's here, which you would normally push down, is missing. So now you literally, well, that just proved my point exactly. These are actually no longer really attached. So here's what they look like. And that just furthermore drives the point home of just how bad they are. That one wasn't shattered the last time I looked at it. This one is about to, you can hear it cracking. Ooh, that's hot. This is what happens when you drive the car right before you're going to film a video. Alfred, it might help if I put gloves on, but you know, it's a little late for that. Okay, that one. Okay, cool. So it's a good thing that it wasn't just, this is probably the biggest culprit, that one. So this was the one that actually made me realize that there was an issue. Uh, you're not supposed to see all of that. As a matter of fact, those are the purple retaining parts in it. So that's an issue. All right, so now with all of these disconnected, the next thing we have to undo is this, which is the grounding harness, and that grounds the entire harness, nothing's connected. And then we have to go fishing the plug back here, which hopefully shouldn't be too much of an issue, but we'll see how that works out. So let's get this off first. Battery disconnected. We can go ahead and undo the harness, which will quite literally be the easiest part of this whole job. Wow, there are pieces everywhere. So you guys can see that. And that's what happens to the plastic in the engine bay. I'm probably gonna grab some, well, there's another one. Well. It looks like I may have bought the wrong part. That sucks. This is the one I got. Which puts the connector in question. Somewhere up here. And this one goes much, much further back. One eternity later. The new title of this video is... 
how to rewire your ignition harness. This is all my fault. But we're currently testing the pins so we can figure out which way everything is going. These are numbered one, two, three, four. Pin four is the ground, that's this. And they're split, um, these two to, to one the, and the other two to the other. You can see it there. So now what I'm trying to find out, I'm gonna put this into pin one here on, I guess the furthest back cylinder. And I'm going to test. Okay, I got nothing on the, on the first one I did. So I'm guessing the middle two, if logic works, won't work. There we go. All right, so with the clip facing up, injector not injector coil one pin one is when you're looking at it this way coil one pin one is the bottom right so if we go to pin two again using some logic it would tell us that it would be the one above it and we're correct Pin three All right, so now we have, we can at least do our first one. Now's the part where I get to really have some fun. What this kit requires you to do is actually to cut your factory harness off, put their mail plug onto the ends of your, your harness and then connect theirs. So, so far we've got the first one. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I don't think I'm using the right tool, so I am going in and adding a little bit of solder just to make sure my connections are good. And um, that last cut the old harness has been removed you guys can see that we're on the last connector that we have to make harness all wired up there's a little bit more buttoning up we need to do but the car is fixed of course there is always another problem that we're going to move on to that's for another episode so if you guys have made it this far i really appreciate your time thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming future videos as always for crooked mustache i'm alfred thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time dale